Hello, it's Kingdom. This is Elsie. I'm doing some work on the new Kingdom Google Calendar uh, and want to take a moment to do some videos to help orient folks in how they can use this and uh, to make their life a little better, a little easier. Hopefully, that's the goal. Uh, so one of the things I want to cover with you are the different ways to subscribe. As I spoke about in the initial intro video, um, I'm just showing you guys what this looks like in Chrome on my computer. If you are using a different browser, a different computer program, a different computer type, if you're on your phone, the appearance may differ a little. Uh, there are some amazing content that's put out there by a variety of creators. If you go on YouTube, you can search for Google Calendar on and insert name of your details. And it's gonna give you the most up-to-date details on what the program looks like right now. I can tell you as time changes, what this looks like today may be a little different than it looks like in a week, even on my own system, because these things are constantly changing. So I wanna give you guys the broad based, con the, the broad based ideas in terms of what stuff looks like. Uh, but I'm also going to uh, hope you can can go through and find out the specifics a little bit on yourself if you're, what you're seeing doesn't work. If you're still confused, contact me, contact communications, contact somebody. We can work you through. We've got some pretty good tech support skills. But just to give you guys an overview, uh, let's go ahead and go here. I I'm actually going to take you through three ways to subscribe. We're still working on implementing the fourth way. Uh, but the first thing that you can do is you can sign up for email invites. Um, when we do these calendars, we have broad categories. There is an invite list that's just for events that make it onto the official calendar. So those are the things that we've got royalty at and get published in the page and people put on garb. Those are events in this context. Um, what you can do is there is a place right here. I've got a circle there, but there's also a link here. Uh, and we'll go through that in a minute for signing up. You can go through, sign up for the Google group email list. You can unscribe from that list at any time. Uh, it does process manually. You go through that link that I talked about right here. We'll go through and give you a Google form that you fill out. We get a notification. We add you the email list. As events are added into the calendar, you will get emails of those events. Um, but this is a, a little bit of a slower process. If you would like something more instantaneous, you can go through and in many cases, you can just click on the plus sign at the bottom and it will add the whole calendar for you to uh, your Google, your existing calendar, and then you'll get all the information that comes in there. The third method um, is you can go through and you can click on the individual events and you can add those individual events and activities directly to your calendar, depending on how your operating system is works. So the emailing thing that we went through first is the most foolproof system. And I'm gonna go ahead and go through that in a little more detail. So here we are in the Google sitemap. This is the menu. Um, but if I go over here to different, uh, a little bit different view of what we've been looking at, um, we can go ahead and see what this looks like. Um, these are sort of the, the overview of what the various calendars look like. So you can get a feel for what we've got for events versus the activities of the various branches. I go ahead and click on sign up for email updates. And this gives us a form that we can fill out. That's a simple Google group. You're gonna need to give me your email address. If you haven't gotten your thing, that means Generally what happens is it's come through, but there's no email address. So I don't know who to contact back. It is a required field. Somehow it doesn't come through all the time. And then you click which one you want. So this is gonna be, for example, this would be events. Um, let's, I kind of like Canali. So I'm gonna click on some of their stuff. And you know, I Canali is historically allied with the Scalia. So I wanna know what they have to say. Um, and Ruben Oak's kind of cool. Maybe we'll wanna see some of their things and well, I like virtual activities, so I'm going to click on that and I'll get notifications of all those things. I go ahead and I click submit and that will give me everything that I need that will get manually processed on the backside and I'll get added in in place. So that's going to be your absolute most foolproof way to go through and do it. Uh, for some of these other things like clicking on individual events. That's going to be a simple thing where I've got this brought up right here, where I've got the, the darkwood baronial thing coming up and I click copy to my calendar. 
um, this will come up this way. It gives me all the information. I can go ahead and click save. And as it currently is, it's set up to be adding to my West Kingdom, uh, the web content ambassador, which is the control account for all of these things. I can also go through, if I have multiple calendars under the account I'm adding, I can go through and I can choose to add it to any of the calendars that are there. So that's a, a slightly more involved way. Um, I am not going to show you the other method that we had photos of in terms of adding the entire calendar because the way I have this set up currently, it's a little more complex than I want to be getting into. But I'm hoping that will give you guys an overview and some simple ways to start using it. And hopefully it will save you guys some time in copying events back and forth. Um, I want to give you one last way to go through and add it, depending on the way you've got things set up. If we go through, huh, really helps if I'm doing a screen share when I do that one for you guys. Here we go. We'll give you this one last thing. Okay, so here I am back at the, uh, the events that are in place. If you are someone who is a Facebook user, you can still use Facebook. Um, as information gets added in it's towards the end of the process when we've got all the information in place, usually a month or two before the event, uh, Facebook events will be created. If you, you don't know where to find those, maybe you're not getting regular reminders. Um, if you go to the events portion of the uh, Kingdom, uh, oh, ha, I go to show you that, but then I realize I don't actually have this logged into anything. Oh no, maybe it is there. Um, but if you go under the events portion, all of the events are listed in place and you can go through and you can subscribe those individually. That may be a way to add things to your electronic calendar, depending on how you have your account set up. So I, that was not the original fourth way I was going to show you guys, but that is a fourth way that will work. Um, I hope this helps. I hope this makes your life a little more streamlined so that we can spend more time enjoying each other and less time doing data entry. Uh, you guys all have a good time. And if you have any questions, reach out to me on email, lc.hunderfalk at westkingdom.org. Find me on Facebook, Discord, WhatsApp, whatever works for you. A smoke signal. I'm a little, little hard to read those. Um, and again, if this you're watching this video years after I've given up the job, West communications at westkingdom.org still works to get a hold of all of us. Talk to you later.